All right, what's up, y'all? This is Junior Boateng. Today, I just want to walk you guys through how to import your session into all your files into Ableton. So, let's just get right into it. Okay, like I said, today I just want to help you guys import your files into Ableton. All right, yo, so we are here in Ableton right now. Um, the first thing I want you guys to do is just go to your preferences in Ableton. So, preferences or the shortcut for that is command comma. Make sure you are in record warp launch and then turn off auto warp uh, long samples. Just make sure it's off. Later down the line, I, I'll explain why. But for now, just make sure it's off. So that's the first thing I, I want you guys to do. And then now, we have the browser on the left side. And this is where you'll navigate to your files. I already have my folder open. So um, these are the files we're going to be using. Today, I'm working with an intro I made for Sunny Badu. A couple of years ago it was supposed to be for a concert but we never got to use it but for today's sake I figured why not use that so first things first let's get these files into our session and what we can do is click the first one hold shift click the last one um, actually there are a couple of files that I don't need in here um, I'm just gonna take those out I can deselect them by holding um, command and then click in so take this out and take that out all right <clears throat> so we're gonna drag all these files into our session now as I begin to drag you know there's one problem everything is showing up um, straight down but we actually want it to be horizontal so while holding while holding the files um, I mean while clicking down on your mouse hold command and now everything's horizontal so you guys see what I did there just press command while dragging and then now I can let go boom everything should be in there uh, let me get this browser out the way so all my files are in there right now so if I did this correctly we should be golden so let's see let's go ahead and press play <laughs> Everything sounds like it's pretty good. Okay. All right. So let's see. So let's just go ahead and just rename these tracks. Um, the top here shows the name, the names of the tracks. So I'm just gonna rename them for organization purposes. Um, so let's see. The first track is Ox. So just click that. Right click, and you can press rename or just press command R on your keyboard same thing so aux and go to the next one so command R base and actually if you press tab on your laptop it'll just move over to the next one so click drums horns you know I'll put synth uh, whatever loop so no you, you can just um rename all of them right uh, whatever i'm not i'm not gonna bother but yeah you, you guys get the idea so everything's renamed and one thing i just want to show you guys first um well yeah one thing i just want to show you so the way i set up this intro at some point once everything finishes um what do you call it the loop keeps going well the loop was supposed to keep looping but um it's a, it's a short loop that i have in there so we're gonna actually um reprogram everything reprogram the loop section so it loops after the intro stops playing but um let's do one thing first so here on this master track we're gonna rename this so command r remember rename this intro 
and what we can also do here is map the BPM so uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and put 120 BPM and we can even put the time signature as well so space and 4 slash 4 so once we press enter you see this little play button turns blue which means the BPM is locked in so let's say if we actually had let's, let's go to the top right here top left sorry let's say if we had a different BPM and I were to start this you realize it will automatically switch to 120 BPM over here so keep your eye on the, on the top left and see that 120 BPM all right so let's just do that one thing that I wanted to show you guys bring this down so basically um, let's just double click this loop and you guys see this is where the loop plays out and I want once uh, once he gets to that section I want to just have the loop just loop continuously so here Two, three, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I want it to loop continuously after that, right? For now, it stops, right? So how do we do that? All right. So first things first, let's select um, warp right here, the bottom left, and see where it says sequence BPM we know the BPM is 120 so let's just um, change that back to 120 so 120 boom and okay so it disappeared right so let me just kinda just show you guys something so this bottom I guess play sign um, little carrot thing here this is where the see um um, the the playhead will start and then the bottom is where it'll end now the top one um, are basically markers for looping so when it loops where it's gonna start uh, where it's gonna start the loop from and where it's gonna st um, stop the loop well the end of the loop right I don't know if that makes sense but <laughs> bear with me it's still morning anyway so um, we want to maintain the starting point and as you can see right here it says start and, and so we want to maintain that but um, we want to change the loop and start the like the position where the loop restarts so first of all let's toggle on this loop button right and then we can actually just drag the top part so let's drag that uh, hold on First of all, let's extend this far back a little bit, all the way to the end. Okay, now let's drag this top part. Uh, I think right here. It's fine. Let me see. Um, okay, now let's drag the bottom one back to the beginning. So basically, what we're telling Ableton is. It's gonna start from here, from the starting point where it originally starts, right? It'll play all the way to the end, which is the bottom here. Once it hits the end, it'll now start from the loop, the looping point, so the beginning of that. So it'll start from here, and once it hits the end of that, it'll just reloop. Does that make sense? Let me explain that one more time. So we're telling Ableton. To start from the beginning of the sample, which is where it originally starts. So from marker, uh, from right here, from measure one, whatever. So it will play all the way through to the end of the sample, right? That's the bottom part. Once it hits the end, it'll loop, but it'll start from this starting point right here. And then it'll play all the way to the end, which is at this starting point and it'll just keep looping yeah so let me just show you that real quick 
So let's play um let's play the intro one more time. So intro is right here. Um and also so what you want to do is press the the play button from on the master track cuz that'll trigger everything simultaneously. So boom, right? Let me just show you something quickly. Um, when you press, is it key? You can assign like this um, intro section to a button on your keyboard. So I'm gonna ho go ahead and press number one on my keyboard. So you see the little, the little one that popped up there. Now this um, our intro section right now is assigned to the number one on my keyboard so go ahead and press key again that'll take you out of like the assigned mode and now if I press one it automatically triggers this All right so, all right, so let's go let's play through this whole intro See, so the car, the part is coming. All right, so loop starts one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. Okay, so you see it started again, but hold on, I gotta fix something. Um, it's supposed to be just a four-bar thing. I think it did five. But, uh, so let's just fix that. Uh, I think that's it right there. Four. So that's it. So let's see. There we can even drag that there. All right, there we go. So this should fix it. Um, let me go ahead and just fast forward. So now this is just going to keep looping over and over and over and over. Even even once everything stops, that will just keep going. All right. So so this kind of gives you the flexibility of um you know catering your session to your needs. So maybe you need to play an intro and then just keep a loop going. You can do that in Ableton. You can set it up that way. Um, maybe you need to keep a couple of things like the click so you can do the same thing with the click um, and anything else that you need to fix so uh, this is just a quick tutorial on how to set up your session in Ableton I'm gonna do another video and show you guys how to route everything to your interface alright if you enjoyed this video make sure you like share and subscribe alright man Peace.